From the BZG studio in the Mission Dolores District, right in the heart of San Francisco, it's BZG News with Barry Courtney. Thank you, thank you so much. What's up, everybody? My name is Barry Courtney, and this is BZG News, the new show where we don't talk about the release date for No Man's Sky because we still don't quite believe it. So let's get into some probably real news. If you were hoping for PSN Spring Fever to come back for a second year, sad news, Spring Fever is being replaced with Launch Party, which is basically Spring Fever, but different. It has a different name, different games are being put on sale this year, and if you pre-order the games, you get them for 10% less, but it's different. During a business presentation, Take-Two President Carl Sladoff was asked if keeping investors on for the company was a challenge due to the company not annualizing its franchises. Sladoff responded with, quote, Yes, it is a challenge. We don't intend to change annual strategy because of product fatigue. Take-Two creates franchise value, and releases have to be managed deliberately. It's tempting to have continuous releases and milk a franchise as far as you can, but we've seen that fatigue in other franchises in the game industry." Unquote. It's refreshing. It's really refreshing to see a company not given to peer pressure. And it's quotes like that that show how much Take-Two, specifically with Rockstar franchises, stand out in this semi-stagnant industry. The quote also explains why we don't have a Bully 2 yet. We get it. You don't want to burn us out. You don't want to burn us out on Bully 2 soon. But please, just let it come out in like the next like five years. Five years. Come on, please. Please. Some more muddled voice acting related news comes from Naughty Dog. When there was an outcry on Twitter since the original voice actor for Harry Flynn, Steve Valentine, did not voice the character for the multiplayer's beta and doesn't seem to be returning for the game's release. Valentine took to Twitter to say that he was never approached to return as the side villain, but Naughty Dog recently came out to say that all of the original voice actors were approached for multiplayer VOs, including Steve Valentine. My feelings to this story, they can only be summed up by the chorus of a famous Limp Bizkit song. So, Henry, please take it away. It's all about the he said, she said bullshit. <laughs> Apparently, J.K. Simmons was sick and tired of waiting for pictures of Spider-Man because the Oscar-winning actor has jumped ship to DC to play the one, the only, Commissioner James Gordon. THR revealed the casting when recently talking about Justice League Part 1, implying that Simmons will debut as everyone's favorite mustache in the upcoming superhero team-up movie. And now makes sense why Simmons hadn't acted upon the recent petition to get him back as the chief editor of the Daily Bugle for the Spider-Man reboot. Remember that Joseph Gordon-Levitt Sandman movie that's been in production for what seems like forever? Well, bad news bears, guys. JGL has left the project. On what seems to be good terms, Neil Gaiman came out on Twitter to speculate on whether or not the Sandman movie will still happen, while New Line Cinemas has yet to confirm anything on the project's future. Assassin's Creed the movie is already set into getting a sequel with Michael Fassbender on board to return. Now, this is something very different when it comes to video game movies. I, I mean, these guys, they're so confident in this film that they are already in works for a second one. Now, this could be the first decent video game movie. And I know Assassin's Creed has a very bad uh, mojo going on right now. And the, those, who, uh, those of us who play the game, we really only play the game for the stories, not, not the gameplay. Gameplay's awful, but the stories are always very fascinating, so it's interesting to see if this movie is good because it has some decent source material. I mean, we can speculate all day, guys, but we'll just have to wait until the Assassins make their film debut this December. And for the final news story of this week, Ron Perlman came out to say that there probably won't be a Hellboy 3. Fuck. <laughs> and here with me is my Hellboy expert, Ricky Baldasson. Ricky, how do you feel about this news? I want to go home. <laughs> now, do you think there will ever be a Hellboy reboot? Nothing will ever be the same. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> because Ron Perlman is the best Hellboy? Yeah, because Ron Perlman fucking looks like Hellboy. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> now, Ricky, what are you going to do after learning about this news? Go home and cry. <laughs> 
Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been BZG News, BZG's weekly show where I round up all of the news I think you should care about. Remember, BZG News is up every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on YouTube.com slash Gamers. We'll see you next week for some more nerdy news, and until then, stay nerdy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Over here. Guy with the green hair on his phone playing fucking Green Day. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>